Hey, welcome back fam. So we're going to get into this. A lot is happening in the news. Turn your notifications on. Definitely hit that like button, share the video out and leave your comments down below. And I say turn your notifications on because I'm serious. I have a lot of videos that I want to bring you guys. I hope that it is helpful to you or just informative to you and if so please hit that like button because it does help the video get out to more people and it does help me grow i have a goal that by the end of the year i would like to be at 120 000 subscribers i don't know if i'm going to make that goal i definitely need you to share out the videos and hit that like button so that i can attempt to get to that goal okay so what's happening now we see that shortages are happening in certain areas not everybody's going to see shortages so just note that before you start commenting and letting me know hey we're not seeing it here but i do want to hear from you whether or not you are seeing shortages what kind of shortages are you seeing um not just food it could be non-food products that you're seeing shortages in or you maybe not seeing deliveries being made to certain businesses and stuff like that because I know some businesses like um, McDonald's have been having issues with getting um, deliveries in. So Mass General Brigham postpones elective surgeries due to nationwide IV fluid shortage. So the shortages are happening. I do have a video that I'm going to play, but I'm going to read the article first in case they make me take the video out um, later or something like that. So. That is why I do it the way I do it. Um, Mass General Brigham has announced it will postpone certain non-emergent elective procedures due to the nationwide nationwide shortage of IV fluid. Y'all, this happened one time before with um, IV, IV fluid, and it happened also with a pain medication that you need during surgery or after surgery because I had surgery in... Um, when I was in the back room um, waiting for them to take me to surgery early that morning, I heard a couple of the nurses saying, did we um, get any of this in? And the other one said, no, we don't have that. So we have to use something else. So I'm just like to myself, Lord, please, because y'all talk to yourself. I don't want to hear that before I go into surgery. Um the decision by Massachusetts' largest hospital and healthcare system comes in the wake of Hurricane Helene, which has disrupted the supply chain for critical medical supplies across the country. This is why I encourage you to stock up on your own medications, you guys, before something happens. Make sure you have that first aid kit, a couple of them, not just one. Make sure you have items in case something takes place where you can't go to the hospital or any kind of emergency care place to get treatment. Maybe you can, you know, do something to maintain until you can get help. So the deferrals, which began on Sunday, October 13th, will continue through at least Wednesday, October 16th. The hospital emphasized that only procedures requiring specific types of IV fluids have been affected and measures are in place to prioritize care for patients with immediate needs. Due to, due to the unpredictable nature of this situation, we do not know when our supply of IV fluids will will improve that says a lot and nothing at all at the same time but we are closely monitoring and will continuously evaluate to ensure we can return to normal operations as soon as possible affected patients are being contacted directly with efforts underway to reschedule those procedures so guys this is serious is late. <laughs> it's so late. This is serious, but I wanted to bring it to you. Just bring it to your attention of what's going on in case you happen to go to the emergency room, which I pray that does not happen or to the hospital or you have a procedure coming. Your procedure may be canceled. It's not just this area. This is a nationwide shortage. And here is the video. 
I may have to back it up. Hopefully. Carolina, it has led to Ivy shortage. Uh, Ivy. <clears throat> now, the impact of Helene and Milton are reaching far beyond where the storms hit. In fact, damage to a factory in North Carolina, it has led to IV, shortage, uh, IV fluid shortages across the country. Yeah, we told you about this first yesterday. The shortage has forced Mass General Brigham to put off some elective surgeries through at least Tuesday. NBC 10's Aaron Logan has more. It's unclear how many surgeries will be put on hold as a result of this shortage, but a hospital spokesperson says they had to act accordingly. Hospitals across the nation are doing the same. The nation's largest supplier of IV fluids in bad shape after Hurricane Helene's devastating effects in North Carolina. Baxter, the manufacturer, says it stopped the production of critical IV fluids and limiting how much facilities can order. Earlier this week, the American Hospital Association urging President Biden to declare a nationwide emergency. When we don't receive the supply that we are anticipating, that forces us to think differently. The facility produces roughly 1.5 million fluid bags a day. That's 60 percent of our nation's supply. There are numerous different sizes of IV solution bags impacted coming out of this one plant. We know that certain kinds of procedures require. When are we going to figure out you cannot have everything in one basket, that you have to spread it out in case of situations like what is happening? 60% is a whole heck of a lot. If they had had another plant somewhere else, that would be back up. I don't I don't understand it. Large amounts of these IV fluids. And there are certainly hospitals around the country who are needing to look at procedures that are scheduled uh, and uh, delay them. Mass General Brigham is doing just that. Non-emergency and elective surgeries from October 13th through 16th are being put on hold. We are only receiving about 40% of what we normally receive. A Milton woman in her 60s tells NBC10 she had breast cancer surgery and another surgery for a bleeding disorder just last week. Both were at Faulkner, which is part of Mass General Brigham. She's relieved she wasn't impacted and feels for those who are. She said in a statement, quote, essentials like IV fluids should be produced at multiple facilities spread out across the country we've had similar problems with drug shortages when facilities are dead oh my goodness i did i promise y'all i did not watch this video beforehand this lady just said the same thing i said why is it all in one location who does that why is it not spread out Mm -mm -mm -mm. damaged or contaminated we've been messaging to our nurses to our physicians we want people to find alternatives or to eliminate waste baxter the manufacturer tells nbc news they're increasing production at other sites globally mass general brigham says they're hoping to get things back to normal as soon as possible though the situation is unpredictable so y'all just want to bring y'all a little bit of news that hopefully you could use Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully things will change. Honestly, hopefully things will change. So I will see you guys in a little bit, probably in a few hours. So definitely turn your notifications on and y'all take care. Stay safe. Keep your head on a swivel. Keep preparing if you are already preparing. Think about creating a food pantry if you have not. It does not have to be big. It just has to be enough for your family. And it doesn't have to be a whole year. It doesn't even have to be six months. I'm just wanting you to have enough that will last you for two to three months. When you think about the people that's in dealing with Helene and dealing with Milton, but especially Helene, they're going, some of them, not all of them, some of them are going to be without power for over six months. And what they are asking for mainly, yes, they need water. Yes, they need these other things. They need diapers. They need medications and stuff like that. But they've been asking for bread flour just to make some bread. That is how it has gone back in time to make bread. Can y'all make bread? Do you know how? Do you want to learn how to make bread? 
I've made bread maybe a handful of times. So I'm still working on that myself. But the thing is to keep at it. Okay. I've made yeast rolls from scratch. I've made sandwich bread from scratch a number of times. And I'm going to make it again on here. I think I'm going to do a way where you can, I will make it with power and find a way that I can make it without power. Because having a meal for your family, even if it's just a slice of bread and some soup or whatever, that is so important. So we need to think about the preparedness part of it. I know the after effects is a lot to deal with and people lost a lot of things. They lost their food. They lost their garden. They lost a lot of things, but still having the means to be able to do things in case you didn't lose all of those, all of those things, but you are still stuck where you are. Can you feed your family? So y'all take care. Stay safe. I will see y'all in the next video. Hit that like button. Help your girl out. Okay. Be kind. Help your girl out and hit that like button. Okay. Get it to over 500 likes. If you can get it to a thousand, that would be appreciated as well. Bye.